Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Look, I know you guys are getting sick and tired of these videos. Um, I, I thought I would have to give these guys actually 24 hours to, uh, you know, to meet my challenge, the hashtag end Hank Strange channel. However, it turns out these guys actually convicted me a couple days ago and I didn't even know about it. So I'm here. It's time to find out what my new career is going to be. You guys can start uh, putting right now in the comments what you guys think I should do after this when I leave the gun world. Now I've got notes and I want to go through my notes because uh, this is a doozy. It's a doozy. We got to do this right. So stay right there. Plus the notes are going to help me, you know, be brief. And I know people don't have that much time. I appreciate everyone that's been watching this and commenting, including the people that are mad at me and asking me, you know, why am I doing this? All those kinds of questions. We're going to try to cover a lot of that right now. Okay, um, you know, okay, like I said, we've got 24 hours left in the uh, hashtag and Hank Strange, um, but you know, Forge from Freedom, Sam from Forge from Freedom, and Yankee Marshall, they've convicted me. Well, actually, you know, uh, they've testified against themselves. They testified against themselves. So I want you guys to all go look at Forge from Freedom. Yeah, I'm saying that. Go on YouTube. Uh, the channel's Forge from Freedom. Go check out the channel. There's a video there. Uh, it says, Forge from Freedom with Yankee Marshall. Uh, what is really wrong with our community? You have to look at that video because we're going to talk about it. Um, it's an ironic title because those guys are idiots and they're exactly what's wrong with the community. So, <laughs> and you will see. You got, you're going to have to do some homework here, but, you know, like I said, we got 24 hours. Okay, so um, I know there's some people that keep asking me uh, why am I bringing up Yankee Marshall's name. Um, you know, I keep telling you guys that Yankee Marshall's complicit with this stuff. Um, this is the reason why you see him showing up in these videos with Sam from Forge from Freedom. He's there to bolster him, right? Uh, if Sam's such a big man and all that kind of stuff, he could just do these videos on his own show his own stuff. I don't really know why he needs Yankee Marshall. He doesn't really have that much to say. He just kind of like is in the background uh, doing something, who knows, you know, wanking one off, who knows what he's doing in the background. Um, but he keeps showing up in these videos. So, um, you know, uh, there's stuff if you from these from the video that they did here that I can't edit in for you guys. And the reason why I can't edit that in is because when you go to the video, you'll see what I'm saying. Um, that video is a huge violation of YouTube's rules, privacy and otherwise. They basically doxed a lot of people in that video, not just me. Um, some of you gun guys out there that support them, you might want to go look at that video because your name's showing up in there. You know, or maybe just people who were communicating with them for some reason. You're going to find that, um, you know, this is a blaring violation of YouTube's policy. And uh, it probably won't be up there for a long time. Uh, it's going to take you a little bit of time here. It's going to be some homework. But I promise you, uh, if you don't have time, you can look at the first 15 minutes of that video. And I'm going to give you notes here. That's why I'm reading. That's why I'm reading notes. It's going to take you about 15 minutes. And you can watch everything you need uh, to, to hear <laughs> them. Trying to convict me, but convicting themselves. It is hilarious. So I'll, I'll start. Um, let's see. What are we? Uh, what are we going to do here? Okay. Uh, first of all, there is a question from from folks out there about the money issue, right? So people are saying, "Why are you doing all of this?" Um, I'm doing this for the community. That's why I'm doing this. I, I think if there's someone that's a cancer in the community, if they are harming the community, if they're stealing from the community, if they're toxic, if they're poison, I have the responsibility to let you guys know. Um, and if I'm involved and I don't let you know and I just, 
because, you know, this is a gun community. There's lots of uh, tough guys and girls in this community. And a lot of times when people do these, when people um, abuse them in this way, take advantage of them, lie to them, defraud them, they kind of feel like weak. You know, they feel like they messed up and they don't want to come out and talk about it because they feel like you guys are going to say, you're an idiot, you messed up, or why are you talking about this? We shouldn't bring this up. Let's keep fighting for the Second Amendment. But what happens is that person's going to internalize this and it affects how they're dealing with the Second Amendment. So I think that uh, I know there's lots of gun guys who don't want to do this because they pretend they're tough guys, but I think a real tough person will stand up here and let you guys know what happened, even if it makes them look bad. And I've already said to you guys that I'm wrong for trusting Sam from Forge from Freedom in the first place. There's reasons why I did that, but it doesn't matter. We're here now. I've apologized for it, and I'll apologize again for all the people who supported me, went to, to this website, and thought that they were buying shirts that would support the Second Amendment, support me, and our overall cause, and that didn't work out. I apologize to you guys, and my only way of making it up to you is doing this. So that that's why I'm here. Um, you know, but... Uh, the, the thing about a lot of this, and the reason why I have to come out and do this is like what I'm talking about, the money. I think that definitely for Sam, you know, being a con artist, uh, someone who goes out there and d he's done this over and over again, he doesn't care about your money. He's just a thief and he doesn't care who he steals from. Um, you know, I think, though, with Yankee Marshall, he... He pretends that he cares about the community, but then he says that this money means nothing. The money owed to me means nothing, and, I, and I'm going to talk about my stuff here. I'm going to try to avoid talking about the other guys, but, you know, just imagine that I am ten times smaller than some of the other people who are in this situation. So... Right now on YouTube, I maybe have 80,000 subscribers. These other guys have over that, you know. Um, they've got uh, half a million, a million subscribers. Um, so just imagine whatever's happening to me, you can just times it by 10 if you're trying to figure out what's going on here. So um, the thing about the people's money, though, regardless of if, if, a, if someone out there, if you, you believe in the Second Amendment, you're a gun guy, you're on here, you're supporting myself and other people, you, what do you do for your money? I'm assuming you work hard for your money. And when you take that money and you, you go to a website, you go to a company and you buy something and you proudly show off where that thing, you know, you're, you're thinking you're supporting the Second Amendment and you're supporting the people who said, hey, go check out, I'm, here, here's me wearing these t-shirts and I'm showing you this cool stuff. You think you're supporting them and you're not. And it's your money. Um, I've been involved with sharing, um, sharing things on social media and other places that, that uh, Sam said, this money is going to a pro to a organization out there. So you took your hard earned money and sent it in this direction and it didn't go where it was supposed to go. And I care about that. If I had a part to play in that, I'm going to make up for it. I'm going to apologize for it, which I've done. And that's what this is all about. So when you hear people like Yankee Marshall and Sam from Forge from Freedom talking or like uh, diminishing the amount of money owed to me, you got to think about that. It's your money and they don't care about it. So whether it was the money owed to me or to the 2A organizations out there or the other gun guys, it's your money. And uh, I think I have a responsibility for that. So, um, and, and that's why I'm trying to put all of this on the public record, you know. I'm trying to think about that guy out there who doesn't know about this and he's going to go buy something and he's going to get into all of this and he's going to be bamboozled and we didn't do anything. And I'm trying to think about that content creator coming along not knowing about this and and winding up in the same uh, position as I'm as I'm in right now so that if for all the people who want to know why I'm doing this there you go that's why this is uh, going on um, there's a few things I want you guys to know about uh, Yankee Marshall and, and Sam from Fortune Freedom um, you know and the big part of it is I think that these guys not only don't care about your money but they are crazy. 
They are mentally challenged. There's something wrong with these people. They actually made this video thinking that this is going to show everyone how awesome they are, how wrong I am, you know, what horrible things I've done to them. And everyone's going to look at this and go, there it goes. That's it. That's the evidence. And guess what they did? They actually convicted themselves. Okay, so just think about that. Um, as you watch that video and you listen to the points that I want to make about on their video. Okay. And, and you know, I think sometimes in life, like people are saying, well, how come you aren't going on their, on their shows, on their live streams? And all? Why? I, first of all, I don't have to do it. I have uh, two YouTube channels. I have Hank Strange, where we talk about gun stuff and pro 2A things. And uh, I let everyone know about what's going on as well as show you guys lots of fun, cool stuff. And I also have uh, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded, where Monday to Friday, we do a podcast for two hours. I'm there live uh, taking questions. I bring in guests. We talk about the Second Amendment. We talk about companies and gun things and news and entertainment and all of that. So I don't have to go on their things. Um, you know, also though, I, the reason why I'm letting these guys say what they have to say is for, is for this. Because I didn't even waste my time looking at their stupid chat, but other people did. And I'm actually going to read um, portions of an email that someone out there uh, who's a fan of mine took a look at all of, uh, at, at all of this thing and they saw some details in there that they reached out to me and they said, you have to look at this. Um, I want you to, uh, to go out there and, and make these points. And when they did that, I was, I read through the points. I was like, there's no way, there's no way these guys actually <laughs> were stupid enough to say this stuff. So I went and looked at it and I'm telling you in the first 15 minutes, you're going to see it because I didn't watch more than that. There's probably way more than that going on in there. I just don't have that kind of time. Okay. So, you know, you let people paint themselves into a corner. You let people uh, convict themselves a lot of times. And I think that's what these guys have done. Um, I also want to let everyone know if I ever recover, recover any amount of money from this situation. I have not. This is Friday, and if you look at the video, he said that he sent a check to me, uh, <laughs> you know, at the beginning of this week. It's Friday, hasn't gotten here. There, He's in Texas. I'm in Florida. Mm, don't think it happened. But that's not the first time he said that, and we're going to cover that. So, um Let's see, uh, but if I, if, if I recover any of this money, I want to promise you guys this. Whatever I recover, I will take, I will split it. I will take it and send half of it to GOA, Gun Owners of America. Um, I've already said this on social media and on the podcast we did last night. And the other half I will donate to Maj Ture, um of, uh, you know, Black Rifles Matter and... Um, you know, he's running for city council in, in Philly, and he's a good dude. He's been on the podcast and all that. And, um, you know, I've known him for a while, and I think we need guys like him on the city council in Philly. So I'm going to send him my money. I hope if you're in Philly, if you're, if you're in Pennsylvania, you'll help him out. Okay? I, and, and I'm putting this on record that I'm going to do that. I will let you guys know if I ever get any money, but I have not. Okay. So here, just to go through it, let me see, I'm at 13 minutes, I'm trying to keep this uh, moving for you guys. So at, uh, in this video, at a minute and 53 seconds, Sam says, I always do what I say. Yo, yet through this video, I'm going to reveal to you guys how for weeks he's been saying he sent a check that never arrives. You guys are going to see that. Um, he says in here, a couple of months ago, we had our account limited by PayPal, and a few weeks ago, we had our account suspended by Amazon. So something about that I have to tell you all that you probably don't know. Um, selling the t-shirts thing with the gun guys, Forge from Freedom, the t-shirts that are on there are all t-shirts from gun guys, like myself. Okay, I'm trying to avoid getting bringing other people into it. But, you know, they're, they're gun guys. Now, none of the money from t-shirts that Sam sells on Amazon have anything to do with the gun guys. It doesn't have anything to do with me or any other gun guys. Same thing with eBay. He might be selling t-shirts that, that have to do with us there for sure, but he doesn't share any of that money. That's, the un that's my understanding. So the only thing that's of concern, um, the sales, etc., is are only from the Forge from Freedom website. And, uh, you know, this is why... Uh, this is why I've been asking him to remove me and other people have been asked 
to be removed. But the thing about him talking about PayPal and Amazon is kind of weird because, according to him, those things don't even have anything to do with um, to do with the gun world or the 2A community. But he somehow wants us to uh, help him out with his problems that he had there. But we didn't have anything to do with those problems. And as I've said before, even even though that's true, if he would have been a good person and a good business person and just every month been sending people their money, me included, and then he ran into some problem and he showed us what the problem was uh, and was honest about it, then I think that uh, we would we would have probably helped him out me included, but that's not what he did. So, and I'm going to show you guys that. Now, um, so at, uh, at, um, at six in this video, at six, at six minutes in this video, and that's how I'm doing all of this, so people can just go there and skip through if you want to. At six minutes in, in this video, um, he says the video is going to remain on YouTube no matter what. My answer to that is hold my bear. <laughs> Watch this right here. <laughs> because uh, I'm telling you, this video is so crazy. I, You know what? When, um, when, when they did this video, people were sending me like, hey, they're doing this video. And I was like, dude, I want to go home. Uh, I've, I've been working all day. I want to go home and relax and look at some car stuff and hang out with, with my wife and my son. And I don't want to like get into all of this. I want to unwind. But you guys were right. You guys were right. They were telling me to look at this. Okay. Um, you know, so he's saying that he can't take money from PayPal. Um, and, and like I said just now, what does PayPal have to do with us? Since he says that's not where he sells any 2A shirts. That's what Sam has told me. And it's the same thing with Amazon. So... Uh, that's really a question, and you guys will see why we'll come back to it. Six, um, six minutes, 38 seconds in, um, actually, right here is where we're going to come to it. Six minutes, 38 seconds in, you will see if you go there and you freeze frame it, like I said, Sam is, is, is showing people even more than his brain can realize. It's, it's a real tiny brain. Uh, then, then he can realize that he's showing people. If you go and freeze frame it, you will see that there is an email there from Amazon talking about what happened with the store. And in that email, it's the, it says it, you, you can you know you can uh, freeze frame it, screen capture it, or whatever, and 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 open it up and look at it. Um, it has to do. It's from uh, Brand Protection Subaru and has to, something to do with infringement of trademark. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and, and that, that's showing right there that there's um, companies that he violated their trademark and that's why he got shot, shut down, at least on Amazon. Probably the same thing on PayPal. But uh, Subaru, now I'm into cars, but you know, I, I would have probably, if things would have gone well with Sam, I would have probably done some car stuff with him. I believe we were talking about that. But um, we never got into that. So, and I'm glad because this will be worse. So anyway, this has stuff, stuff to do with cars or something like that because it's talking about Subaru. But he inadvertently showed that. And it's there though in that video. If you go look, you'll see. And my question is, what does that have to do with us in the gun community? Um, and if you go on, you'll see at 8 minutes and 20 seconds in, he's doxing himself and many other people in the gun community. And what I mean by that, he's doing a screen share of his phone. And, and I, I, I'm not doing any of that. I'm not doing it. I don't want to. I, I could, could engage myself in that kind of thing. I don't think I have to do that. You know, and I'm not planning on doing that unless this, unless I really get backed into a corner, which I doubt is going to happen. You know, if someone actually comes out there and just boldfacedly lies for whatever reason, I doubt that's going to happen. You know, but I don't think we're going to get there. I'm not planning on doing it. I don't think it's a cool thing to do. But he does this. He's sharing his phone and he's showing phone numbers on there, mine included, and other people on there. Uh, I didn't want to get into it, but he shows Military Arms Channel communicating with him on that thing um, and other people. You guys might want to go look into that. So um, at nine minutes in, he shows his conversation via text that shows my phone number. Um, you know, uh, by the way, I want you guys to know that 
all the videos that he did with us before, like he came to me when he wanted to go after uh, Iraq veteran IV-8888. You might remember that. And he came to me and we did a video about that, a, a, a live podcast where he voluntarily came on air and talked about this for over an hour. That video and any other videos he's done with us, he's gone back to YouTube and done privacy strikes. He's not showing anything that has anything to do with anyone's privacy. He's voluntarily came on those videos, but now he doesn't want them to exist. And I think the big reason he doesn't want them to exist, because in that video where he's talking about IV-8888, he says that he agreed with Eric to take $12,000 from Eric, and he would sign an NDA. Then um, Eric says, well, sign the NDA, I'll send you the money. He said, no, send me the money, and then I'll sign it. Eric sends it to him. Then he says, okay, I got the money, I'm not signing it. You just have to trust me. Um, Eric lets it go, and then he comes out and, and um, violates that agreement. That's why he doesn't want that to exist. Okay. Um, so he's trying to remove videos, but he's here showing everyone's information. Go look at it. It's amazing. Like, I laughed through this whole thing because I was like, wow, these guys are stupid. And, and Yankee Marshall, who's supposed to be such a genius, is not over there saying, hey, man, maybe we shouldn't do this. He's like, no, bud, go ahead and do it. So that's going on. Okay, nine minutes, uh, nine Nine minutes, 16 seconds in, uh, he shows a text from me on 6 19 so June 28th, 2019, where I say, close our store. He shows that. Okay, Nine, uh, 931, he shows the spreadsheet he sent that says our net sales. You see, if you look in there, he's not talking about it, but he shows this thing that he sent to me, and it's clearly there. And right on it, you can look at it. It's a 931. It says um, that our net sales were $3,620.95. It's right there. He sent it to me because he's showing my texts. Okay, um, And that thing itself, I have that. It's dated January 1st, 2017 to um, January 20th, 2019, two years ago. In this time, this is the money that he owes. Later on, he goes on to say he's only paid me $56. But right there, it says that, you know, that I'm owed $36.20. I mean, I'm not owed $36.20. That's how, many, how much sales we generated for him. Okay, Really how this breaks down um, is an 80-20 thing. Um, he gets 80%, we get 20% of the sales. Why would that be? Uh, that would be because, you know, obviously they're making the t-shirt. We come up with the ideas. I'm like, hey, let's do this kind of t-shirt. We come up with the ideas. He says, okay, that he, gets, he has some graphic guys put stuff together. I look at it, approve it. Okay, cool, I like that. All right, let's do it. And then those shirts have to come to me, obviously, right? I've got to wear them and stuff. Be, so that people see me wearing those things in videos, which I've done, and on the podcast, etc. So they've got to manufacture. They've got to manufacture these. When someone goes and orders it, they've got to manufacture it, ship it out to that person, collect the money. Okay, um, they're doing by sending us the shirts. They're doing advertising because when we wear it, and I'm going to talk about this. He talks about it how he gave us gift cards. Like every time I would ask him, he would give me a gift card for shirts. But if I buy the shirts and I'm wearing it, I'm advertising you. People are buying the stuff. So and then like I gave some of the shirts to Babyface, which he goes on to insult in this video. Now Babyface P is going to be Puppy Face P, I think. Uh, but you know. I, like Lola wore the, some of the shirts and videos and Babyface and, and other people and then we gave some of those away to people who were supporting us and, and, and we did these kinds of things and ultimately that's advertising. So because, because though of those advertising expenses, he gets 80%, we get 20 That's how that works. Okay, so that would mean from that initial number that would be at least 724 bucks. You guys can do your own cal calculations. Um, and he admits that when I asked him to close the store, he said he was already about to do that because it's in the text. And he goes, yeah, because so that means, you know, if you think about this, if I text him and I say, you know what, I've thought about this, man, and uh, this is not working out, I want you to close the store, that should tell you guys that this has been going on for some period of time before uh, June 28th. And then when I reach out to him, he goes, yeah, I was about to close your store anyway. 
we obviously didn't have a good relationship up until then. So I didn't blindside him with any of this. That should tell you guys that. Also, if you um, if you look at him showing my text, you could see him um, threatening me. All of that stuff is actually in there. Okay, let's move on though. Okay, so at nine minutes forty seven seconds, he says on uh, seven fifteen July fifteenth. He asked me uh, why this one guy, there's one guy, which I said to you guys already, someone who supports me, and they knew about this because obviously if I asked him to, to be removed from the store and I thought I was not there, I would tell people, listen, you know, we're not on that store anymore, and um, we have some issues going on there, and we, we haven't gotten paid. But I just said on my podcast, I never made a big deal about it, didn't make any, I didn't take a snippet out of that or anything. Um, as as they like to say, nobody looks at my podcast. So, um, so so one guy is asking him on his website, "What's up with that?" And he says that, and uh, you know, uh, and he asked me about it. You know, two weeks later, when he closed the store, he said he would immediately send a check. That didn't happen. All of that you see him showing. It's right there. He's saying that. You know. Um, so if you think about, like I said to you guys, if you go back, you'll see two weeks earlier, I said, close the store. He said he'll send a check. He didn't do it. Now this is two weeks later. He's asking me about this guy. We get into this thing. He's saying he sent something. Okay. At 10 minutes and eight seconds, um, he says that his check got mailed Monday. Okay. He's in, he's in uh, Texas and I'm in Florida, right? Uh, so he says, I'm in Florida and it's going to take two or three days. Today's Friday. Um, and I checked the mail before I came in. There's no check there. Okay. Just telling you guys, um, as I said already, if I actually get that money, I will send that money to GOA and Marsh Teray um, of Black Guns Matter. Uh, I, I think I said Black Rifles Matter, but it's Black Guns Matter. Sorry about that. Black Rifles Matter is a whole separate thing. <laughs> um, you know, we'll deal with that later. So 10:15. Sam shows us a fake spreadsheet. So in his revealing stuff, he already shows the real spreadsheet, but he doesn't say that to people, but it shows up because he's showing his screen. Um, then he shows a fake one where you could just put whatever numbers you want in it. So um, he shows us this uh, fake spreadsheet and he shows... Uh, uh, he also shows his text with me, and like I said, there's other people's numbers and everything in there, okay? So 1034, he says, if you go look, he says $2,649.24 is all he's, he, that, uh, he's talking about me. That's all the sales that I've done for them since January 2017. That's what he says. And Yankee Marshall agrees with Sam, um, you know, with, with what he's saying. Then he also said that uh, Hank Strange is owed, according to his cookbooks, uh, $529.24. He says since 2017, he's only paid $56 of that. He just admitted that. You're showing that for the last two years, according to you, I've made $2,600 worth of sales. You owe me $529, but you only sent me 56 I think that's what I said, yo. So, I mean, you got you guys got to think about that. That's a little insane, right? I'm watching the time here. This is going to take time. I'm going to probably try to talk about this on the podcast because this is going to take time. So, yeah, you know, we got this is how it goes if you want to know, you know, if you want to know the truth. Okay. Um, then he goes on to talk about Patreon, which is a voluntary thing. You know, I'm, I never made an agreement with him that he was going to pay me through Patreon. Never did that. If you decide to support me on Patreon, thank you very much. I appreciate that. But I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, it, so far as him, I appreciate all the people that support me on Patreon. I guess including him. But that had nothing to do with the t-shirt thing. So, um... You know, uh, he talks about the gift cards which he sent us, which as I said, we used to buy t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. Um... <laughs> that's the reason why we do that 80-20 deal with him. I mean, that's straight up. Come on now. Uh, he calls Babyface a little puppy face or a little puppy or something like that. And whatever. Um, you know, so here, here's what I want people to think about this. If you are a um, 
pro Second Amendment organization out there, if you are a, um, a a content creator, a gun guy, and you're dealing with this guy, you're doing business with him, you're promoting his store by using his his gifts his gift cards. All right, sorry, I had to. There's going to be a cut there. There's going to be a break because the camera's only going to record for for 30 minutes. So, if you're like I was saying, if you're a gun guy and you're using, you know gift cards to buy your own shirts that you helped him design and you're helping him promote so the people could buy it and you're looking at this or if you're a pro second amendment organization out there doing something with this guy um that's going to be crazy man i i really you know if you're looking at this and you're looking at forge from freedom talking about talking about you this way and dismissing like what you what you do because I'm doing you a favor. I'm letting you wear your shirts that you designed that I'm making money off of. And if you hear Yankee Marshall agreeing with that, how do you think about it? Because when I hear that, I go, wow, these guys are just totally ripping people and they don't care. They have, they ha there is no um, regret or anything like that. These guys are savage, man. And they're definitely in this together. I could just tell from, from the way this conversation is going now. Because if Yankee Marshall is the cool dude that he said that he was, and he's hearing this, he'd be like, hey, Sam, wh what are you talking about, man? You can't count in, you know, you you give me a gift card so I can go to your website and buy the t-shirts that I wear to tell people to buy because they're supporting me and I don't care about the money. I don't know about the money. You, that's whatever. If you're, if you support Yankee Marshall, wow, you, you need to get like a CAT scan or something like that. Something's wrong with you. Um, at 1228, he goes to a spreadsheet showing a total sales different spreadsheet after he showed another one he goes which showed a, a, a lesser number he goes to another one that shows a, a, a total of 3309 totally different number from the other one actually it's like a 660 dollar difference from what he just said what <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna put my notes if you guys want to see my notes I'll put it up somewhere or I'll send it to you if you want to see this if you whatever <laughs> it's so crazy um, 1258 he then goes to his website to show the t-shirts um, which we originated right so he goes on his website he's showing these t-shirts which we originated my idea is like give us us free and all that that's my idea that I said to him hey I want this t-shirt I want it to be like these hands and a guns dropping from it all, all the t-shirts he's showing are ideas that I had that I talked to him and as I said he's getting 80 percent because they did the graphics they put it on there but he says there's nothing has nothing to do with Hank Strange there's no Hank Strange logos on here he searched Hank Strange to get there what he put in heck strange that's how he got there uh that's interesting <laughs> and it says like hs on there hs legacy and everything like i showed hmm that's interesting you might you might want to think about that and when you go out there and look around you know who you're going to see wearing those shirts uh this guy when you go look on social media you're going to see me okay um you know uh if you look out there, if you look at for, if you look out, if you look on social media, you're gonna see me and the and the the guys who roll with me all wearing these shirts that we designed. He's showing the website and he's saying, nah, they don't have anything to do with him now. So because I asked for my store to be closed and removed from there, what he decided to do was, well, I'm not showing any Hank Strange logo, so I could sell these things now. That is fraud. That is ripping people off. Okay, a hundred percent. You know, uh, wow, it's crazy, man. If you guys are actually believing the spiel coming out of Yankee Marshall and Fortune Freedom, I don't know what's up with you. Okay, um, they ju they don't care about your money, and you just don't see it. That's what I think. You know, you just don't care. You're like one of those people that wants to be abused. You don't care that these people don't care about the 2A community's money. That doesn't bother you, okay? Um, so... Here's the thing, to, to, to wrap this up, because it's, I know it's already going to be like over half an hour, but, I mean, if I've only got 24 hours to be here in the gun community, i got to get this out, right? So you guys know why I'm off somewhere parking cars or, you know, pushing carts around a parking lot or something like that. You guys have to know why that happened. Maybe I'll be dancing at a strip club, who knows? All right, so this is from a fan. I'm going to read this to you guys, and um, this is from a fan. 
that um, they looked at this video and they looked at it several times and they saw these things and brought it to my attention. So I don't want to take credit for what they initiated um, I, and I want to thank them for it. I'm going to leave them anonymous because I don't want people to go after them, you know, whatever, go after me. But thank you to that person that did this. I appreciate it. And I'm just going to read this their points right now. And like I said, I'm going to put this in the description of this video, and you guys can go look through it and see all the stuff if you want. So um, here's what they say. Your evidence raises some interesting questions. One, you say that PayPal froze your account almost three months ago. Hank has been promoting your shirts in your own words for over two, year, two and a half years and has only been paid $56 in that time according to your spreadsheet shown roughly at 11.52. Is it your position that the rest of his commission was earned? Earned in the past three months? If not, why has he not been paid his commission as he earned it? So in other words, two years, how come you weren't just paying me like every month, every three months, every six months? You weren't doing it because you're not a good business guy. You're a fraud. Um, number two, why does the report show at 1228 a significantly higher sales figure for Hank than your homemade spreadsheet. That alone seems pretty shady. But he shows three different numbers. When I went back to look, I was like, oh crap, there's three different numbers in there. But sh yeah, you're right. Um, number three, if you're crediting yourself $90 for Patreon contributions, um, was making commission payments through Patreon agreed upon by Hank? Nope, wasn't, never agreed to that. Um, I don't know if anybody else did. I don't know if Guns and Gear or a Military Arms Channel or um, anyone else did. Four, you claim that he was lying when he said he was trying to get paid by you for weeks, yet your own text messages show that you promised to send him a check on 621, but you didn't. On 628, you promised him that you sent him a check on Monday, July 1st, but you didn't. You are now saying that you sent him a check on July 15th, and that's clearly only after he made the video about you. <laughs> How is that not trying to get his money from you for weeks? Of course, it's, of course it is. Um, that's, that's giving you the benefit of the doubt that he hadn't asked uh, to get paid before that since text messages prior to that weren't shown. He didn't show those. But yeah, I was. Okay, five. You bring up the fact that Amazon stopped allowing you to sell on June 18th. Why are commissions that are earned by creators for sales on your website somehow locked up in your Amazon store? And how does that relate to commissions earned prior to June 18th? Good question. Uh, what other, this is number six, what other creators are owned money earned from, from prior to PayPal and Amazon shutting you down? Um, by the way, I spoke to another creator. I won't mention him here. Um, I spoke to another creator that was on there. He told me that he has no idea how many shirts he sold and how much money he made. He has no idea. Sam made it very difficult to do that. Um, we, we had a way of going in there, and um, we tried to go in there. He actually deleted our, our access to that. So he delete, Sam went in and deleted our account so we can't go in. Because the truth of the matter is, is if you're owed money, he was using like a, a, a standard system that's used throughout the industry, and you sh you're supposed to be able to go sign in and and have proof because there's a company doing uh, d doing a lot of this stuff, right? Like putting it all together. This is how he runs his site. Um, he deleted us from there, so we can't do anything. Hmm. I wonder why you would do that. Uh, I wonder if he deleted other people. But if you're not deleted, you might want to go through there and see if you can complain to that company. Um, but we can't do it because he deleted us, okay? Um, so seven, are the charities that some of your t-shirt sales were claimed to support also behind in payments? Good question. Number eight, why did Subaru file a trademark infringement claim against you? As it says in the email from Amazon, you showed roughly at 650. Why did Image Club Limited file a counterfeit claim against you? As it said in the email from Amazon, you showed. You say it's for BS reasons, but your emails show that Amazon warned you starting about six weeks before they shut you down. Can you share the designs they claim so we can see um, that their claims are BS? Can you do that? Don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, nine, 
You act as if Hank's brand wasn't contributing to your SEO in the first place, but you literally use Hank's trademark name in the links that you're claiming are yours to keep, uh, to keep using because of SEO. It's right there. If you go look at it, you see it. He's saying, oh, his, 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 name, his name isn't on here. I don't see anything like that. There, there are shirts that I've worn, and you've got Hank Strange and HS Legacy. Yeah, you're, you're telling on your own self, man. Stupid. Um, you're clearly trying to siphon sales from people searching for Hank Strange t-shirts to your own shop, which is why the, loading, the landing pages are even called HS Legacy. It's shady to do that with generic links, but it is legally tenuous to actually use his trademark name in the links to do the same. So um, I know, like we're 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 deep into this, and I don't want to um, to, uh, you know, I don't know how how much people are actually going to sit here and watch the evidence and all that. But it's on their video. I'm telling you, you guys could go look at the first 15 minutes, and I've tried to help you make it easy and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah. These guys still have 24 hours. Yankee Marshall, Sam, Fortune Freedom. You got 24 hours to make Military Arms Channel, Guns and Gear, or the Second Amendment organizations out there, the pro-Second Amendment organizations you told us all that you were sending money to. You've got 24 hours for them to come out with a video saying that I'm lying. You've already come out with a video a couple days ago saying that I'm telling the truth. I'll leave it up to the people, but maybe 24 hours from now, um, I'll be working as a school bus driver or crossing guard, you know, washing cars somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, that's it. If you guys want to know more about this and talk more about it, you can come into the podcast. Last night on the podcast, I didn't want to get into this because we had GOA on and... Um, I, I wanted to stick to the Second Amendment. Those guys, we had them plan to come on because that's what we do. We, this is what we usually talk about. For the people who are hating on me, I usually talk about that stuff. I'm doing this because this guy, these guys are fraud, both of them together. They're colluding on this. They're getting together and they're trying to stop me from saying what I have to say. But, you know, do with it what you will. You know, I don't know what to say. 24 hours from now, I'll be gone after they get those guys to come up with those videos. I'm out. Peace. Hashtag and Hank Strange. Share it.